Greetings. Welcome to Shiloh High School's annual Title I parent meeting. We are so delighted you have tuned in to this meeting in partnership with our school. You can find information presented in this meeting on our Parent Center page on our school website. Additionally, please remember to complete the evaluation of tonight's presentation using the link provided. What is Title I? The Title I program is the largest federal assistance program for schools. The program provides support for students who are at risk of not meeting the state's academic standards. It determines funding by the number of students receiving free or reduced lunch. Please remember to complete this important step of lunch forms each year so our students continue to receive supports to help them achieve academically. Additionally, Title I supports parents and families by offering activities and training opportunities to increase engagement in their children's education. There are two types of Title I programs, targeted assistance and school-wide assistance. There are currently no Gwinnett County Public Schools that participate in targeted assistance support. There are currently 68 schools that do participate in Gwinnett County Public Schools in school-wide support. All students at the school benefit from Title I funds. Materials, equipment, technology, professional learning for teachers, extended learning time for students, teacher salaries, and the Parent Center are some of the possible items that are funded through Title I. What are our school goals? Each year, Shiloh High School monitors and reviews our local school plan for, for improvement. And from this strategic plan for improvement, Shiloh High School makes decisions about the most effective ways to allocate Title I funding. Our goals include Shiloh High School will increase its graduation rate to 80% in 2021-22 school year. Shiloh High School will meet or exceed the Gwinnett County Public Schools pass rate on the gateway assessment. Shiloh High School will also increase the percentage of students performing at proficient or above by 10% on all national, state, and district assessments in 2021-22. Shiloh High School will also improve its overall College and Career Readiness Performance Index goal from 67.2% to 75%. And Shiloh High School will improve enrollment, participation, and performance in its accelerated programs with increases of 5% in enrollment, 5% in participation of students, and 5% in student performance. How will we meet our goals? In the following slides, you will learn more about specific strategic implementations we have planned for helping us meet our goals. Each goal includes a plan for building parent capacity in support of our students. Shiloh High School will increase the percentage of students performing at proficient or above by 10% on all national, state, and district assessments in 2021-22. The strategic implementations include building parent capacity, this includes providing parents with assessment information, course communication, scheduling articulation meetings, and other additional workshops about important assessments that our students take each year. Collaborative learning teams. These teacher teams meet weekly to plan instruction and to monitor performance. District instructional support. This includes support from our various offices in Gwinnett County Public Schools Instructional Support Center, which provides us with instructional frameworks and effective implementation strategies for classrooms. Additionally, instructional lead teacher development, 
We understand the importance and impact of quality teaching and support teacher leaders through learning and de leader development to support their course teams. Shiloh High School will increase its graduation rate to 80% in 2021-22. Building parent capacity. This includes senior meetings about course credit evaluations and graduation, a probe college fair each year, graduation solutions meetings, and FAFSA sessions, which is free assistance for federal student aid. Additionally, Academy Kid Talks is a program for students whose performance data reveals the need for strategic and supportive interventions. Academy Pathway Completion ensures that our students upon graduation are career ready. Cohort Analyzer is for monitoring students who are potentially off track for graduation or who are off track for graduation by providing them solutions and options for completing high school. Our credit recovery programs are held throughout each year, whereby students may complete a course over for credit towards graduation if they have been unsuccessful within a certain performance range. Additionally, General's Time Advisement offers special, specialized interventions for students in core subjects and also organizational development because Shiloh High School aims to ensure our students are global, globally prepared. So these are a few other options that we have in place to try to ensure that we are meeting our graduation rate goal, but hopefully exceeding it each year. Shiloh High School will meet or exceed the Gwinnett County Public School pass rate on the Gateway Assessment. Building parent capacity. Information and communication is shared with parents about students' gateway performance and continuous progress. Additionally, district instructional support to our school allows us to ensure alignment of instruction and literacy development and scoring strategies for our students. Document-based writing support for all students in grades 9 through 12 ensures that our students are engaged continuously in literacy strategies to provide experiences and reasoning and communication with a result for improvement of gateway performance. Additionally, Shiloh High School will improve its overall CCRPI College and Career Readiness Performance Index goal from 67.2%, our most recent rating, to 75% in 2021-22. Building parent capacity means continuously providing progress reporting to parents and enhancing the parent-school collaboration as outlined in our plan and promise document. Additionally, Academy Kid Talks which mentioned previously, provides monitoring of student performance and placing strategic interventions in place so that all learners may continuously progress in achievement. And also EOC or end of course boot camps. The following courses have an end of course test each year and we want to ensure that our students are meeting proficiency in each of those courses. They are Algebra One, Biology, U.S. History, and American Literature. And Shiloh High School will improve enrollment, participation, and performance in its accelerated programs with increases of 5% in enrollment, 5% in student participation, and 5% in student performance. Building parent capacity includes IB, International Baccalaureate, and AP, Advanced Placement, Information Events, and Parent Meetings. Also, Advanced Placement Teacher Professional Learning throughout the year. Advanced Placement and International Baccalaureate Mentoring Support for students enrolled in those programs. Generals Time Advisement, whereby students are enrolled with their assigned AP or IB teachers. 
International Baccalaureate Professional Learning for IB Teachers, and Strategic Counseling Support. How can you support us in reaching our goals? Parent workshops will be offered once per quarter to all parents of Shiloh High School students, and they provide information regarding graduation requirements, for example. Our counselors are hosting a session this September 30th on graduation requirements. Also, Title I, as we are presenting our annual meeting now, and credit recovery opportunities, which information is shared monthly about the upcoming month's credit recovery opportunities. Please be sure to stay on the lookout for those. And academic recovery interventions as needed. Parent workshops will be provided for on information related to literacy that you can incorporate at home to support your students. Uh, they will be provided with gateway topic support documents, online resources for writing and content for student and parent access, and Shiloh approaches to writing to help your children navigate writing based on a document-based prompt. If you have students in the elementary schools, this is similar to the AKS at home documents that you may have received from the district. Additionally, increasing family engagement opportunities and training on AKS and course performance will help to build your capacity as a parent and allow you to partner with us um, by providing materials to you, information to you, and assistance with understanding our Georgia Milestones end of course assessment and our district assessments. We have a district assessment um, our district assessments begin next week um, for each, all of our um, tested areas. Additionally, faculty and staff will host multiple curriculum nights to engage parents in advanced placement and IB program details and best practices. Parents will be provided with specific strategies to support their children's progress and success in the AP and IB programs. What are our students learning this year about the academic knowledge and skills AKS curriculum? Gwinnett's curriculum for grades K-12 is called the Academic Knowledge and Skills AKS and is aligned to the state adopted Georgia standards of excellence in language arts, mathematics, and literacy standards for science, social studies, and technical education for middle and high school students. The Georgia performance standards are in place for other content areas. Gwinnett's AKS is a rigorous curriculum that prepares students for college and 21st century careers in a globally competitive future. The AKS for each grade level spells out the essential concepts students are expected to know and skills they should acquire in that greater subject. The AKS offers a solid base on which teachers build rich learning experiences. Teachers use curriculum guides, technology, and instructional resources to teach the AKS and to make sure every student is learning to his or her potential. The Academic Knowledge and Skills AKS curriculum was developed by our teachers with input from our parents and community in response to Gwinnett County Public Schools mission statement. The mission of Gwinnett County Public Schools is to pursue excellence in academic knowledge, skills, and behavior for each student, resulting in measured improvement against local, national, and world-class standards. The following are a few additional ways that Shiloh High School provides additional academic support. English language learners receive support through Shiloh High School's Provision of Professional Development in ESOL Education for faculty and staff. For example, designing and delivering school-wide professional learning on effective instructional strategies and digital resources for teaching to English learners. Special Education. Shiloh High School provides support by offering a study skills course for students. 
Additionally, case managers are assigned to work with students with IEP accommodations during generals time each week on Thursday. Special Education Department personnel works very closely with school counselors to make sure that students are on track for graduation. Response to intervention includes consistent review of the IEP prog progress. And general's time includes academic enrichments and interventions scheduled weekly during the school day, progress monitoring and response to students' performance, and the goal is to increase students' on-track status for graduation and improved academic performance. And the following are some ways you can provide input in Shiloh High School in support of your children. Attend Title I planning meetings once a year in spring. These meetings provide, allow you to provide input into the school's goals, provide input into the Title I budget, and jointly develop the plan and the promise between school and families. Additionally, review draft documents after the Title I planning meeting. Also, being present at parent-teacher conferences, joining PTSA, joining the Parent Center Committee, Media Center Support and Volunteering, Academy Advisory Board, local school council meetings, and pop in with the principal with Dr. Dollard. How do you evaluate effectiveness of our Title I program? Complete an evaluation after each family engagement activity. Complete the Gwinnett County Public Schools Parent Perception Survey each fall. We would really like your input. What is the right to know? Parents have the right to request information about the degree and qualifications of their child's teachers and paraprofessionals if applicable. The right to know can be found on the homepage of Shiloh High School's website on page 18 and on Shiloh High School's Parent Center homepage. How can you engage with our district? What is the family and community engagement plan for Gwinnett County Public Schools? Our family and community engagement plan shares how we will build partnerships with parents, families, and community members. It encourages their participation in the development, implementation, and evaluation of our Title I program. How can you engage with our district? The Gwinnett County Public Schools Family and Community Engagement Plan and this video are available on the Gwinnett County Public Schools website as well as the Shiloh High School website. Thank you for taking a moment to view those district support videos. How can you engage with our school? What is our school family plan promise? Our school's plan describes how we involve parents, families, and other community members in the education of our students. Our promise is an agreement developed with parent input that outlines how families, the entire school staff, and students will share the responsibility for improved student academic achievement at Shiloh High School. It also describes how the school parents will build and develop a partnership to help children meet the state's challenging academic standards. How can you engage with our school? Please visit the Parent Center and check out resources. Shiloh High School will offer also the following activities to build our partnership with families, including our Title I planning meeting, Title I draft document review, Title I annual meeting, our Freshman Academy meetings, Open House and Curriculum Nights, Parent Engagement Nights, to name a few. Additionally, Shiloh High School provides volunteer opportunities for parents and families through our PTSA, Academy Advisory Board, Local School Committee, Media Center Support, and Parent Center Committee. 
How will we communicate with you? Shiloh High School communicates with parents in family-friendly language through our school website, email, phone calls, parent conferences, social media, the parent portal, and e-class to reach our students and families. Staff will return calls and emails to parents within 24 hours during work days. Class observations must be requested and approved by an administrator and the administrator will accompany the visit. Parent-teacher conferences can be requested by the parent directly. If the parent would like to schedule a group meeting, they may do so by contact contacting the counseling department or by contacting the teacher directly. If a parent is unable to attend a meeting or requests a specific meeting, they can contact the parent liaison, Ms. Pamela Jilks. How will GCPS use Title I funds? 1% 1 of Gwinnett County Public Schools Title I budget supports family engagement and is equally divided to all Title I schools to partially fund a parent support person and or to fund family engagement at schools. How do we use our Title I funds? $844,512 is the amount of Shiloh High School's allocation for this school year. $827,409 has been allocated towards salaries for 11 teachers and one parent outreach liaison. Direct instruction has been allocated $13,234, which includes areas such as extended learning time and programs for students, classroom supplies, expendable computer equipment, and expendable equipment. Additionally, instructional support has been allocated $3,869, which supports teacher release days for collaborative planning and other forms of collaboration, and also professional learning. Transportation and parent engagement have not been allocated funds for this school year. Our wish list as a Title I school include technology enhancements, extended learning program salaries, and graduation cohort mentorship salaries that would support our students in their pathway to ensuring that they graduate from high school successfully and on time. How do we use our Title I funds for family engagement? Shiloh High School uses Title I funds to support family and community engagement by providing additional instructional staff, a parent outreach liaison, instructional resources, extended learning programs, and professional learning for teachers. We hope you learned some things today about our school, our in initiatives and interventions in support of all of our wonderful students. We hope you learned something today and we would like your feedback and your continuous input. If you would, please take a moment and be sure to complete the annual parent meeting evaluation form link as part of this presentation. Thank you so much. We look forward to working with you as partners this year to support your child's education. Please let us know how we can be of service to you. My name is Michonne Vaughn. I'm assistant principal supporting our Title I program at Shiloh High School. And you can also reach out to Mrs. Pamela Jilks, who is our parent outreach liaison. Thank you so much for staying engaged with us. We hope that you and your families continue to remain safe and well. General salute.